Welcome to Chemistry 1B's third video example. In this case, we have an application of using specific heat. And the specific problem says we have a 38.6 gram piece of gold absorbs 297 joules of heat. What is the final temperature of the gold if the initial temperature is 24.5? and specific heat capacity of gold is given as 0.129 joules per gram degree C. Well, obviously we need to find the final temperature. And in order to do that, we need to remember this equation over here, which says the change in temperature equals T final minus T initial. But first of all, we need to find the delta T because we don't know what it is. We've been given the heat value so this is the heat value here. This is Q. This is S. And we have a mass. Okay. And we have an initial temperature, Ti. And we need to find Tf. Okay. So that's, that's the goal, is to find um, Tf. Okay. So first of all, let's plug in the values that we have to our heat equation. Heat equation that we can use is this one here. Q is equal to S times M times delta T. And we can rearrange for delta T as we've done over here. We can plug in the heat value, okay, at 297 joules. And we have the specific heat and the mass. And you can see the units have all canceled out. Um, and we see that the joules cancel and the grams cancel and we're left with degree C. Okay, so that is the change in temperature. This is the delta T value here. Okay, now we can find the T final by using delta T is equal to T final minus T initial. We then rearrange and we see that T final um, is equal to delta T plus T initial. Okay, and if we substitute those values in, we see that the initial temperature can be calculated as 81.4 degrees C.